looking like I'm moving in. Got my foot in the door and we still here. I'm a first generation millionaire. I broke the curse of my family not having it. I'm passionate like girls that's after more than just cash and deep. I got these boots from Primark, they were seven pounds. I bought this firm from the fabric shop. Um, I bought half a yard, cause you don't really need that much fur. I'm recreating the fur boots that a babe called Ray JPEG did on TikTok. She listed like everything that you need. So you're gonna need Gorilla Glue. I got this from Wilco, it was like four pounds something. This glue is very scary. After that babe did that stupid nonsense with her hair, it's very scary. So wear some gloves as well thread and needle i'm going to be using the thread and needle the thread and needle that i use to make my wigs because it's thick and it's gonna puncture through the boot well we're gonna need like some wrapping paper some pattern anything that you can weave like you can use to trace the boot and then put it onto the fabric this is how this is how the babe did it this is my trace for the boot I've already cut out um, like a pattern for the boot, so it basically goes over like that. This is how you want it to look. So you're going to want to cut a U shape from the wrapping paper and make sure that it slides in to the boot nicely that it covers the bottom of the boot because we're going to use that as a guide for cutting the fabric so yeah basically just cut a u-shape how i did this is what it should look like after i don't know if you guys can see the trace yeah but i'm not gonna cut it because i've already got the fabrics which one I, that's the one i glued down yeah so it will end up looking like this so when you cut the fabric it's gonna end up looking like the shape of the wrapping paper where my hand is you can see that mine isn't but that's because after I did cut the shape I then cut it again so that it can match my boot which you're probably gonna have to do because the fabric is gonna be longer than the actual boot so you're, you're probably gonna have to trim it so don't worry about that but you're gonna get that u-shape from the fabric once you've cut it it's gonna look like a small bib just gonna put it on your boot and make sure it fits around perfectly where the gap is if it doesn't fit around your boot you can always cut it to make it a bit more spacious yeah it fits nicely there's extra fabric that's going to be cut but yeah don't worry about that so you just want it to fit on the boot nicely make sure as well make sure the fabric lines like make sure there's enough fabric where you'll be able to glue it here because we want the fabric to touch we want the fabric to touch the bottom of the boot so as you guys can see mine touches the boot nicely and if it over, if there's more like this one that's fine we just want to make sure that we're able to glue the fur over here as you guys can see mine wraps around the boot very nicely so what we're going to do now is get our water and spray the side of the boot in order for the glue to bond to the boot, it needs to be damp. I'm only gonna um, wet this side first, just so that it's easy. I wanna do it section by section, cause that glue is very sticky and I don't want the glue to get onto the fur. This is the glue. When you're gluing this, don't put too much. It's, it might not stick straight away, but after a while, it's gonna start to stick. Before, it wasn't looking like this, but now the glue's even firming. When you do get the glue, you're gonna understand why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it. It's because I'm following the instructions on the packaging. You do not use it a lot, just put a thin layer. Put a thin layer on the boot where it's damp. 
just like that honestly you don't need a lot because the glue expands that's what it says on the packaging and I believe them after that black girl put it in her hair I honestly yeah I believe them when they say Wear gloves when you're doing this. And then get your fur and just, ooh. Ah, that's glue. I've glued it on now as you guys can see I can still like remove the fur but yeah when you leave it for a while it will start to bond it's not like super glue that it sticks straight away so yeah just make sure everything is on properly I haven't done this side yet because I want this part to be glued down first it does say um, that you should put something heavy on it so that it bonds leave it to bond for a bit and then come back to it but yeah just push it push down on it you know make sure it's stuck we don't want it to lift so i'm just showing you what it looks like after you've left the glue to dry now i'm just going to glue the end to the boot because i didn't do that part and then we're going to move on to the next side So I'm just spraying in between the gaps that didn't glue down properly so that I can glue it again because you know we have to make the boot damp before we put the glue so that's just what I'm doing. So now it's time to glue the other side, but before we do that, we need to cut off the excess fabric that isn't glued down. Um, Cause as you guys can see it overlaps and we don't need that. We just want it to connect to the, the fur that is glued down already. So as you guys can see, I'm folding it so I know like where to cut. And then I'm just gonna cut, yeah, the fabric that I don't need basically. We just want the, the back of the, the boots to connect and um, nicely sorry i can't speak we just wanted to connect like oh what's going on what's nicely gosh we just wanted to connect nicely and then we're gonna glue it down
out the piece that I'm going to be wrapping around the boot. So this is going to go around here. As you guys can see, it's going to be like this. But it's going to be more cinched. Don't worry, I'm just showing you what this fabric is for. Ooh. I will show you what this fabric is for. So it's gonna go around the boot like this. So I've cut out this piece already and it is longer than the actual boot because as you guys can see, the boot is very short, but I want it to be longer. So I cut out, I made it the fabric longer because we want the boot to be long, but don't worry, even though this is not here, we're still gonna be able to achieve the long boot. Um yeah so i've cut this out and i'm just going to place it on my material so i was listening back to the video and i was thinking this is making no sense that you guys are going to be so confused so i'm going to do a voiceover on it. um yeah so the fabric that i was showing you guys the piece that i was showing you guys is what i've already cut out for my boot so what i'm doing now i'm basically just going to cut out another piece because you need two pieces one piece per boot um, you're going to use your wrapping paper to help you cut out the fabric. So basically I just cut like a rectangular shape onto the wrapping paper and wrapped it around the boot to see if it fits and it does. So that was basically like my guide for when I was cutting onto the fabric. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, it wraps around the boot, but there's extra um, paper there, which is fine because it's always good to have extra fabric when you're making, when you're creating something. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna use that wrapping paper to help me cut the fur. Yeah, but I've done that already, but this is what you guys are gonna do. So this is one of the boots. This is one of them. I've sewed the back. You can't even you can't, you can't even tell me. You can't even tell me where it starts, where it ends, where it stops. It's me not even being able to speak boy. So I've already started sewing my boot. Um basically what you're gonna do with the long fabric that I showed you, you're just gonna wrap it around the boot get your thread and needle i'm using the one that you use to make wigs because the thread is is thicker and so is the needle so you're just going to place it you'll place the fur around the boot and then you just start first you just start sewing at the the ankle and then once you've done that it's going to look like this it will look like this once you've sewn around the ankle it's gonna look it's just gonna be open like this so when i'm saying so around the ankle i mean above where the fur is so where the red line is in the picture that's where you want to sew basically above the fur that you've glued because if you try to sew the fur that you've glued the needle is probably going to break it, or it won't penetrate because the glue is hard so basically just sew above the fur that you've glued already on the boot So what you do now, you cover it, like just close the boot. Make sure that the lengths are matching. Even if it's not, it's fine. Like if one side, cause this side is longer than this side, but that's fine because we're gonna 
fold in the boot anyways so it won't be a big deal but yeah so what we're gonna do now our boot is gonna be looking open like this where's my hair clip get my hair clip and just close the boot just close the back of the boot for now because we still need to sew we're gonna sew the fur to the top of the boot and then once we're done with that we're just gonna close the boot yeah I want to start sewing at the front and then go around. You just have to kind of feel where the boot is and then, yeah, pierce through. Make sure you don't poke yourself. this extra fabric here so I'm gonna cut this off
show you guys how
So in the boot is closed up at the back I need to cut that thread you can see at the top we did an um like the top is looking like this that's not cute so yeah when you're wearing it you basically just tuck it in and it stays like this while you're wearing it that's why I was like it's fine if the fur is longer than the boot because it's going to be sturdy anyways when we're wearing it it's going to be basically wrapped around our leg so it's not going to be flimsy or whatever and then when we tuck it in it just makes it a bit more sturdy yeah so when you wear it you tuck it in like so and you don't see the rough edges because it's tucked in so yeah this is what the boot This is what the boot ended up looking like. The fur is really, really nice. I'm probably gonna make a headband as well. A matching headband if you guys are interested in that. I'll make sure to record it, I'm probably going to. But yeah, I hope this video, I tried to explain as much as I could. But yeah, it was quite difficult. But I hope the video still helps you guys. But yeah, this is the result.